Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs Woo, got me hotter than a sauna Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants Okay, you guys, so I have my big Well, two big pork shoulders right here They're nice and clean, I rinsed them off Broke them down, lemon juice them up these pork shoulders are nice and clean. These are two, uh, like about 13 pound pork shoulders. So, this is a lot of meat. I'm having an event and I need two of them because this is going to be the pulled pork, uh, pork. Wait, this is going to be the pulled pork part for one of my appetizers for my event. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make the best pork shoulder banu whatever you want to call it so let's get started so first off what we're gonna do I'm gonna take my rings off hold on okay this right here this top layer of fat we're gonna keep that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate that part from the meat part so I'm gonna go take my knife of course I'm using my a Lux Homewares knives. I love these knives. This is the rose gold set. I showed you guys in another video. I actually do use these knives. They're beautiful. They cut beautifully. Super sharp. So um, we're going to go ahead and separate this top skin part from the meat. So let's do that. That's the first step. just gonna pretty much run your knife back and forth you see that you're gonna run your knife back and forth right here you don't want to get a bunch of meat you just want to try to like separate that fat let me try to turn it so you guys can see it. you see that but we're not gonna completely take this part we're not gonna completely separate it so we're gonna do it like almost all the way to the back and then we're gonna stop because we want to make sure it's still attached so you see that? See how beautifully this knife cuts? Look at that. See that? And that's how you get that nice crispy skin too when you separate it. So I'm gonna bring it back a little bit more. Only so right there. I'm gonna just detach it that much. You see this side? It's cut all the way up to like right there. You see that? And I do that because you still want it to be attached because this is going to act as like a shield to the seasoning that we're going to do in the next step. So you just want to detach it that much. Now let me do this one. I might probably, I'm probably going to have to double up this pan because this is heavy. You get that nice juicy banil pork shoulder roast pork. It's gonna be so juicy when I'm done. All right, so I did this one. See that? Not all the way cut. It's cut that much. Still attached. This one is still attached. Now I'm going to go wash my hands real quick, and I'll be back. We're gonna do the next step. Okay, you guys. So the next step, I have some garlic here. It's just been like peeled and rinsed off. Whole garlic cloves. I have some sazon completo. I'm gonna put some of that on it. That much. And then over here, I'm going to peel that top uh, layer of skin back on both of these. And then I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut holes all over these and I'm going to stuff pieces of garlic. I'm going to stuff it all through this meat. Oh, OMG, it's going to be good, y'all. It's going to be real, real good. 
So I'm gonna like stab it, stuff it with garlic. So that's the next step. And I season the garlic too. Some people just stuff it in there raw. I season that thing too. If I uh, I have an injector, but I'm not sure exactly what it is, where it is. I would stuff these with garlic, and then I would um put together a seasoning brine kind of mix and inject this too and mm, that thing be good y'all but anyway i'm gonna stab it and stuff it that's what we do Okay, you guys, so we have the two pork shoulders um, studded well. Like, I use, like, at least 10, 15 in each with the um, whole garlic cloves. I'm going in now with some mojo criollo. This is the no MSG one. This is pretty much like a sour orange cilantro uh, marinade. So I'm going to go in with some of this, and I'm going to pour it over. And I want it to like drip to the bottom because that liquid that this is gonna make is gonna be like a basting liquid. So I'm gonna pour some just that much. This is also what's gonna like this and the Rakao is what's gonna make the let the seasoning like stick to it. It's gonna be so nice and flavorful.
so I wound up using the whole jar these are the 12 ounce jars so if you're just doing one um, and your pork shoulder was a big one this is like 13 pounds each so uh, this is about I guess six ounces each right so I used the whole jar I'm gonna bang it make sure I get it out because I want the flare I'm gonna rub this all over the top and the bottom girl honey it's gonna be good but anyway um this base has a lot of like culantro garlic cilantro uh, minced onions green peppers it's just really good so um now let's mix it in so we're getting every bit of that liquid i went and put a little bit of the mojo criollo in here and shook it around the top on just to you know get all that flavor honey and we're gonna go ahead and pour that into the bottom you know, this basin liquid is gonna be so good so now we're gonna go ahead and rub this Raquel all the way all like all around the both sides we're gonna flip it over smack it flip it rub it down <laughs> and yeah we're gonna just you know base this with uh, the sauce So I mix this up well. What I'm gonna do now while it's flipped over is I'm going to go ahead and season the underside and then flip it over and like do the same thing on the other side but more intense. So this is the bottom side up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and season it. This right here is some um, adobo with pepper. Nice and heavy. As you can see, this is like a really big piece of meat i just want to make sure it's nice and flavorful so that is the adobo some of the sasson completo don't worry this is going to be like super flavorful it might look like a lot of seasoning but once we break this down and all that it's going to be perfect so and i'm going to add some Dehydrated onion. Let me take the top off, yeah. Some black pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Now I'm gonna pack on more sauce. This is the side that it's gonna cook on. I don't rotate it while it's cooking. So I wanna make sure the top has like a lot of flavor cause it's just gonna like cook down and distribute that sauce throughout so just make sure the top has a lot of flavor make sure it has all that all right let me go wash my hands real quick i'll be right back okay so i have all that like marinade look in this pan y'all yo this the liquid that this is gonna make is gonna be so bomb and flavorful 
So um, I have the two pork shoulders marinated with that uh, rub, that wet rub. So on top of that, I'm gonna put some adobo. Some of the sazon completo. Some pepper. One packet of sazon each. On, e on the top of each. Someone asked me where you get this from. You get it in the same aisle as like all the Hispanic um, seasonings. It's like right next to the adobo. Every store has sazon. Like I don't think I've been to any store that hasn't had it. So just look in the Hispanic aisle. Because uh, a couple of people asked me when I did the crab boil where you get it from. But that's where you get it. So I'm going to put one packet on each one. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover it with that piece of fat. So pretty much, you see that? As it cooks, this seasoning is just going to like disperse through the meat. It's going to be so good. So I'm covering it with the skin. Now see that? But I, I come on, we're going we gonna to do something with this too. So right here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to make some slits. This is gonna let that fat render out and it's gonna make the skin super crispy and just good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some slits in this. It's gonna be bomb. It's gonna be like chicarone. Some slits. See that? I'm gonna do this one. That looks good. I'm gonna do one more here. One more here. So that looks good. Now, on top of that, I'm gonna put uh, some more sazon completo. This sazon completo is not as salty as adobo. This doesn't have like as much salt in it as a double, so this is, you know, not as salty. So, that's going on top. Just a little bit more pepper. And I'm going to put a half a packet of sazon on top of both, so one full one I'm not gonna add any more liquid to the pan because as this cooks down um, that fat and the juice is gonna make its own pan drippings and I want that to be nice and concentrated. I don't want it to be diluted with the water. So we're just gonna let this make its own natural pan gravy, drippings and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do now is, let me get, y'all yeah, yeah, gotta appreciate this. I'm gonna bring y'all in a little closer so y'all can see how good this looks. Look at that, you guys. Huh? Yo bomb 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 super flavorful then after it's cooked i'm gonna break it down and put it in all these juices omg it's gonna be so good so what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to first part of the cooking process is gonna be cooked um covered with tin foil and then the last part of the cooking process we're gonna take it off and brown and crisp that skin up so right now i'm about to cover this with tin foil nice and tight and put it in the oven for like no lie like two like three hours i'm not gonna touch it it's gonna go in the oven at 325 
for three hours. I'm not going to touch it, not going to peek, not going to release that steam. I'm going to let that steam cook it and let this be super nice and tender. It's going to fall right off the bone. So, 325, three hours, tightly covered, don't peek. So, uh, yeah, let's cover it up. Okay, guys, so I got the pan tightly covered with tin foil, like super tight. Like it has like at least like three layers. Like, look how many layers of tin foil I have here. But uh, super tight, pinch the corners nice and tight. If you could fit yours in a roasting pan with a lid, good, or a foil pan with a lid, good. I would have been a, I don't know. There's no way I could have put a lid on this one. But um. But um, yeah. Is the tin foil is on tightly, and uh, it's about to go in the oven for three hours, 325. I'm not gonna touch it. It's nice and tight. It's going in. We about to go in too. Okay, you guys. So this is after about four hours. Like, yeah, I know I said three, but this is after about four. It's coming out tender, like as you can see. This bone is like ready to slip out. What I'm gonna do now is take the foil off and roast this in the oven uncovered for a little bit. That looks good. And like crisp up the skin. As you can see, you can see that seasoning all in there. It's gonna be good. So um, this is going back in the oven uncovered for a while. Okay, you guys, so here's my pork roast. They look absolutely delicious. Look at the pan sauce. You can see the seasoning all through there. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that skin. Listen. Yum. Yum, yum. Look at that skin. Listen. You hear that? nice and hard so um yeah i'm not gonna leave these whole i'm gonna actually break them down and shred them um i'm making this pork for a um pulled pork a mojo pulled pork taco with seared pineapple i'm gonna insert a clip here of the end result of what i'm gonna use this pork for that skin came out absolutely beautiful and is tender Look at this. Y'all see that? Look at that. Super tender. See that? Yum. Super tender. And it's juicy. Super tender. Look at this. Look. That bone just came right out. OMG. This is going to be so good. Um yeah so yeah you guys that was my easy fail proof no fuzz version of my uh garlic roasted pork shoulder so uh i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to do you boo bye guys yeah. I get it. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I took a quarter water, sold it in bottles.